Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. I am in sunny Bangladesh and I'm living an organic vi village lifestyle um, and I'm going to be showing you a fantastic beef curry today. Um, since I've been in Bangladesh I've been enjoying the organic beef um, in Bangladesh in the village style cooking and um, I've been really enjoying this amazing recipe and I want you to put that on the channel mainly for me as well so I remember how to cook it and I tasted the curry and it's absolutely gorgeous and I want you guys to experience it uh, with me so we've got a little organic farm uh, for the cows and these cows graze on grass which is behind me hay and uh, the meat is absolutely gorgeous I'm going to show you uh, the cow house as well Healthy lay sunisa sa? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Organic living, feeding time for the cows, just having some hay, this young lad doing a fantastic job. Check out this little baby, she's been drinking from her mum and feeding us as well. Thank you so much for keeping us some leftover milk. This is another baby, hello. He's beautiful. Lovely cows in Bangladesh. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah. Oh, kizat ma sanchu? Acha, dekha. Dekha. This is the locally caught fish that I bought earlier this morning and this chap I ordered these fish Rani Mas Early morning in Bangladesh. There's lots of cooking on the wood fire, so this guy's prepping some wood. <coughs> so I'll cut these into little bits, dry it up, and whack it into a wood flame. Just want to show you the fresh milk I get from the cows every day. There you go. This is proper organic lifestyle in Bangladesh. So when you're away from the UK, this just brings you back to the reality of this world. Fresh milk early in the morning from the cow. Wonderful. Need a lovely cup of tea with this. So every morning, same process. So fresh milk, just boil it down and then we can use it for our daily cooking and eating. So this is about three liters of milk every day, enough for the little baby and enough for the household. Bismillah. Mm. 
while the milk is coming to a boil we're gonna make some tea so just boiling some water and we're gonna once the water comes to a boil we're gonna be adding some tea leaves and making a lovely cup of tea now the water's come to a boil we're just gonna add some tea leaves Ooh, it's too hot The milk is coming to a lovely froth. It's going to be nice and creamy. And the smell is wonderful, so aromatic. You can smell all that Bangladeshi tea. This is something different than your usual PG tips. All that flavor has extracted from the tea leaves. The milk has come to a lovely boil. These teas are wonderful in Bangladesh. Look at that froth on the milk. Delicious. Now for the second process, the tea, bag, the tea leaves have been um, sifted out and now they're gonna use the heated milk and they put the tea into the milk that's gonna be the tea ready. Wonderful. So the tea's gone in to that frothy milk. Let this come to a boil. And uh, Add plenty of sugar to the tea. That's come to a boil. Got some guys working for me. So, teas for them. Yo, Sanewu. 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 So now we're going to start cooking the beef curry. Bismillah. Turn the gas on. We've got a lovely karai and this dish is so amazing in flavour I needed to put it on the channel so I'm going to show you this so simple but it's absolutely gorgeous so let's start cooking firstly to start off with a bit of oil so just about half a cup of oil now once the oil is heated we're going to add these garam masala which is the bay leaf the cardamom and the cinnamon so make sure the oil is nice and hot. These release some lovely natural oils when it hits the fat. So now we add in garlic. So this is two bulb of garlic. So I would say these are about four tablespoons of garlic. Bismillah. So that's four tablespoons of garlic gone in there. Give it a stir. And once it's nice and golden, we're going to add some onions. Now the garlic's nice and golden, we are going to add some amazing onions. These are about five small to medium sized onions going in. Bismillah. So normally the onions would go in first, then we add the garlic. But since I've come to Bangladesh, I've been tasting uh, how my mom always cooks like this as well. She puts the garlic in and when the garlic's nice and golden it brings out a lovely flavor and then they add the onions. So this way is uh, slightly a bit different but you're gonna have to give this a try to taste this amazing flavor. And now we're gonna add some salt. So that's about two tablespoons of salt. So plenty of salt because there's plenty of meat. So here's the beef. So this is about just, I would say, just under 2 kg of beef. So this is organic beef from our farm. Beautiful. Now the onions are nice and soft. Look at that. Now we're gonna add some spices. So this is our 
spice box. So chili powder, a fair bit of chili powder, a good two, just under two tablespoons. Look at that. Now this is coriander powder, good two tablespoons or just under uh, uh, coriander powder. One and a half tablespoons, fine. This is turmeric powder, one teaspoon. Now this is punch pran, which is the Bangladeshi spice. Uh, it's normally, if you find it in England, it's in a whole spice format. So you need to grind, grind it down. But in Bangladesh, we've got a powdered form and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a game changer. If you're using, you won't need to use garam masala if you're using uh, punch pran powder. Hmm? Now this is cumin powder. Good one tablespoon of cumin powder. And this is the Bangladeshi spice, which is the mang shou masala. I need to understand what goes into it, but it's a fantastic curry and amazing flavor. And so that was good two tablespoons gone in. Now we're also using Madras curry powder. I always bring Madras curry powder whenever I come to Bangladesh. So that was one tablespoon of curry powder gone in there. Give it a nice little stir in the oil. So it just wakens up all the spices. I find it in. And then we're going to add a little bit of water so the spices don't become bitter. If you, over, if you just burn the spices, it's going to become bitter, which we're trying to stay away from. So that was a bit of water gone in there. There you go. Beautiful. So let the onions become nice and soft. So this process is called boonering. So we're boonering the onions, boonering the spices, bringing out all that flavor. And when the oil just rises to the top, and then we're going to add the meats. Wonderful. So let this cook away. A bit of patience and we'll come back to it short. So this is the meat. So just about, just under two cages of meat going in. Bismillah. So carefully that's gone in there and give it a nice little stir. Now we're going to boon the meat. So no water has gone in because we want all those spices to penetrate into that meat to create a wonderful flavor. So every bite should taste all those amazing spices. And this is the organic meat from our farm. This is the luxuries of living in the village. Grow your own meat, you grow your own vegetables, and your food, you know exactly what's gone into your food. As you know these days, food, there's so many pesticides and ge genetically modified stuff going on. You need to be very careful what you're eating. You are what you eat, as they say, so be very careful. Wonderful. So let this cook, let the water extract out from uh, the meat. Now put the lid on and come back to it shortly. Let's have a look. Look at all that liquid that's extracted out from that meat. Look at that, looks delicious. Now the color is gonna become dark in flavor. There's lots of masala spices that's gone in. It's gonna be a rich, very rich gravy. It's gonna be unbelievably beautiful. Let this process cook away. Let that moisture, that liquid, the natural liquid from the meat come out and then we're gonna dry it up and then we're gonna add the next ingredients. Look, look at this wonderful color. Fantastic color, lots of flavor coming out. Now we just want everything to become nice and fixed. In, Beng in Bengali we call it khoshaying the meat. So we're gonna boon all the spices, all the meat, all the flavor, make it nice and thick. And then we're gonna add some water. All the moisture from the water has dried up, become nice and thick, and you can see the oil. Looks wonderful. Let me show you. Look at that. Amazing. Now we're going to add some ginger. So that's one. So it's about two tablespoons of ginger gone in. Now I've been speaking about this uh, from my last few videos. When we're cooking meat, we, uh, I've tasted this and it's just so flavorful that I've told them to, to recreate the dish again. And when I cook, I put the garlic and the ginger together. However, when you put the ginger in, at the, in this process, it just brings out so much flavor. And I just want, I, I want you to try this if you're following this recipe at home. Now we're gonna add some water. So enough to cover the meat. Look at that color. Amazing color. It's going to get darker and darker and richer in flavor as, as it goes on. 
So we're going to let this simmer down. It's going to take about a good hour. This process has taken us. So a good half an hour, 40 minutes already. And now we're going to soften up the meat, which is going to take about a good hour. And now we're going to cook the lentils. So as a side dish, so we're going to have a beef curry and a lentil curry together. Amazing. So I'm just going to move this wok to here and let this cook on a medium flame for a good hour or so. So to cook the lentil, make sure you've got a nice little dish and water. This is so filled right to the top. Uh, with water, we're going to boil the water and then we're going to add the lentils. So, bismillah. So, this is the red lentils, which is called the masoor dal. And this is about two pots, which was just soaked in water for a good 30 minutes. And now we're going to add that to the boiling water. Well, the water which is going to come to a boil. Bismillah. We're going to add some nice onions. So, this is about two medium sized onions going in. Wonderful. Now we're going to add some spices, so turmeric powder, good one teaspoon of turmeric powder. It's going to... Now for the salt going in, going to be plenty of, uh, it's going to be plenty of takadar, so we we'll need a plenty of salt, so that was about a good two tablespoons of salt going in there. And we're going to give this a nice little mix and turn the lid uh, to lid to quick crazy Now put a lid on and we'll come back to it when the water comes to a boil. Now the beef is cooking, let's have a look. Wonderful. Now the lentils come to a boil. Let's have a look at the lentils. There you go. The lentils become nice and mushy. The onions have become nice and soft. And now add some green chilies for some flavor and spice. Beautiful. So let this cook away and then we're going to give it a lovely taka, which I'll show you. The lentils come to a boil. We're going to remove it and make the tadka now. Now for the tadka. Got a small little wok, put some oil, plenty of oil there, put that lentil, this tadka is going to go onto the lentil. Okay, we're going to need loads of garlic, here's the garlic, look at that, into the hot oil. Very simple just garlic. You can add loads, you can add mustard seeds, you can add cumin seeds, you can add you know, dry chilies, but we want this nice and simple as a simple side dish to complement the beef curry. So when the garlic's nice and golden, then we're going to add it to this amazing lentil. Beautiful. The garlic's nice and golden, so simple tadka, and we're just going to add to the lentils. Bismillah. So the garlic flavoured oil and the garlic smells so aromatic, it's unbelievable, beautiful. So this is a traditional tadka. So now it's still a bit watery so we're going to thicken up the dal on the flame again. Beautiful. Put it on a high flame, give it a little mix, put the lid on, put some coriander and then the lid on. Wonderful. There you go, cooking it on a high flame until it becomes nice and thick. Let's have a look at the meat. Wow, cook it in a lovely simmer. Looks wonderful, smells wonderful. So this is it, the meat being already. I would like it a bit more thicker, but because lots of meat, so it's gonna, when we eat it a bit later on tonight, it's gonna be nice and thick. So this is ready, coriander, smells wonderful, and I can't wait to taste. And put a bit of green chilies for, sh for the decoration. Beautiful. 
Check this out, guys. Look at that beef curry. This, and put it under the light. Check this out. It's wonderful looking beef curry. So this is a traditional beef curry. I've cooked it in the traditional authentic spices. However, I've added curry powder and that's a British thing. And I always come to Bangladesh and I bring a bit of curry powder because I love that flavor, that Madras curry powder. And I normally buy the East End brand. I'm not getting paid by them, but I love that brand. And if you want a fantastic flavor, go for the mild Madras curry powder and you can always add your chili powders. So this is the beef curry, really happy with this and I can't wait to taste. And the taco dal is thickening up wonderfully. Let me show you, look at that. Amazing. Nice. Taco dal, so simple. Flavors, you can taste loads of garlic in there, green chilies, and the consistency is gonna get thicker tonight. So we're gonna have a lovely, thick, medium thick, uh, runny-ish taco dal with the beef. If you enjoy what I do, make sure you like, share and subscribe for more videos at Latif's Inspired. And I'm really hungry. I'm going to get changed and taste the meal. Wow, the moment of truth, the truly amazing food of Bangladesh. Now this is the beef. Now this is organic beef straight from our family farm to our plate. Now this beef has been uh, grazing on grass and all these good food so you know what you're eating and the meat is very flavorful I mean when I had the other curry I was blown away so today I hope you've enjoyed it look at this doll look at this now this is not too thick but it really complements uh, the main dish and look at that lots of garlic and the green chili, loads of flavors. Not many spices at all. It's just the green chilies and there you go, green chilies and a bit of turmeric and that's all it is. Now the beef. Wow, look at that. Look at that amazing color. It's not as thick Buna sauce, uh, so it's a bit runny. However, it's gonna be so much flavor. It's gonna be unbelievable. There you go, just make a little bit of Salad, so a bit of salad there, excellent. Now if you're in Bangladesh, you're gonna to have to have Bangladeshi lembu, which is the lemon. Fantastic, from the tree, green chilies, and a bit of the lentil, all in one, all in one. This is how I like it, there you go. Wonderful. Now let's give this a taste. First, I'm going to taste the meat. Let me show you the meat. Come on. There. Look at that. Look at that. Wonderful. Nice, mature beef. And bismillah. Wow. Now, if you cook this a bit more on a slow gas, it would, the meat would just fall off the bone. However, I like it with a little bit of um, bite to it, which gives it that flavor. So you still have a lot of flavor in the meat. This is amazing. A bit of lentil, a bit of rice. Wow. Finger licking good. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. See you soon for some next videos at Latif's Inspired. And if you haven't already, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos at Latif's Inspired. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. See you soon. Itare Arju, tika se ni? Bilal. Tumi apna tere khaisa na. Bismillah karo. Oh, Habibur. Khani tika se ni? Maza ni? Sharuk? Khani tika se ni? Sharuk ko roza na chen. 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 Sharuk ko roza na chen.